Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. So what I wanted to do today is really take a look and see what some recent comments for the YouTube channel have been recently. And I know this is, this is unusual because I'm actually getting right into the subject matter of the video immediately. Well, not quite. With every single second that I say with this intro, now I'm kind of dragging it on longer and longer than it should be. But I think the title is self-explanatory. I think I've kind of oversimplified and clarified it already. But we're just going to take a look and see what a few recent comments for the channel have been. And honestly, the, the comment section is great, though. Uh, it's just wonderful to see what people think about the channel, what they like, what they don't like, any suggestions for future videos. And, uh, you know, it's, just, it's, a, it's a great community. But of course, you get the good and the bad, and uh, let's just take a look and see what we have. I'm, uh, I'm, sh I'm spitting out those rhymes right there. So let's take a look here. I got the computer set up. We're in a fairly, well, we are in a new setting. I don't know, you can call this, I don't know, the, the hall or whatever you would like to. And uh, anyway, let's take a look and see what we got. All right. I would love to punch you in the butt and in the face, you, that, you, you're that pretty of a mouse. <laughs> there we go. Starting it off just with that one. We're just going all out. I, I, I was looking, I saw that one, and I said, all right, fine, we're just going to go that. But, but thank you, though. I'm glad that you think that I'm a pretty mouse. Anyway, that's, uh, that's good to hear. Glad to know we're starting it off on a positive note right there. So thank you for your kind words. Hello. This is Shut the Up. I don't even know how to how to go with that one. I mean, I guess he was trying to do like the intro that I usually do, where I kind of just, you know, I, I go all out with the intros. You know that I do. Um, but that seems to me like it's it's more of a, a toned down intro right there. Because uh, usually when I start off the reviews, I, you know, you know, I started off with a bang. I'm going, hello, everyone. This is Running on Empty Food Review. But But this one seems like it's hello. This is... And then, that's an odd intro, but all right, you know, it's a good suggestion. Thank you for that. This is going back on the Area 51 uh, theme. And, you know, a lot of people forgot on, on September 20th, we're supposed to do the raid for Area 51, but I don't know, I guess that's not going to happen anymore. But, but who's to say? Uh, this guy is, is providing a good reminder, though, so thank you there. He said, this guy eats and acts like an alien. LOL. Yeah, that's odd. I would have thought that you would have said that I look like an alien, too, to be quite honest. Um, because as a matter of fact, I was even, I, I was completely ready. Even got this little guy, isn't he cute? Right there. He's a friendly alien, though, don't worry about that. But usually people say, I look like an alien, too. But I guess I don't look like an alien this time around. I just wanted to get him on the camera. I guess I don't look like an alien this time around, but I eat and act like one, so I guess I'm an alien impersonator then. Thank you there. Now, now this guy right here, he's got it right. Like some people don't like to take a guess at, at how I am. Uh, they try to figure things out. And some people are right, some people aren't. You have lots of various theories and hypotheses about the various uh, doings of this channel. But this guy gets it right, all right? And take a look at what he has to say here. He says, I think Report exhibits his living on the edge lifestyle more by his voracious mauling of the food in his formal wear. He's going to stain those suits. And absolutely, I am a hardcore adrenaline junkie. And sometimes, like, I, I try to suppress that a little bit, quite frankly. Sometimes I do let it out, though. Like, I'll say, look, I got these pens in my pocket. I don't even have a pocket protector for them. And for a while, I thought, you know what? I mean, that's it. Forget skydiving. Look, forget about that. Forget about doing any sort of racing, any sort of high-intensity activity. Forget about swimming with the sharks or any of that. I thought, this is as far as it's going to get. To have that feeling knowing that these pens might explode at any given second. And there I am, having them right there in the shirt like that. You know, I thought that was that was it right there. But this is one of those things that I was kind of ignoring, but that is the epitome right there of living on the edge. 
I've, now this is a new one right here. I've never heard this one before. You look like a rat, just stop making vids, I'm out. Well, it's good to know. Thank you very much. And you are, you are spitting out the facts right there. Uh, of course, you can revisit back in 2018 where we had this extensive debate as to whether I looked like uh, a rat or an albino rat or anything in between. Uh, but thank you very much, you know, all right. We're just going with the standard rat this time around, so that's good to know. Uh, unfortunately, though, I am going to continue making videos for the time being, so I am sorry to disappoint. Bet review bra has a mass, massive um, suit collection. <laughs> Absolutely, that's that's correct. Uh, I do have a good good size suit collection, though. <laughs> I, I I I do though. I've been I've been filling up the closet with them. You know, I always try to have some some different suits. I do have to take a few of them to the dry cleaners though, and uh, so so there we <laughs> there we have it right there. <laughs> Just rewatched the two towers. Thumbnail looks like Gollum, and then it looks like there's the two dots right there, and then it says hide. So I don't know what that means. Hide. I don't know if he's trying to say that. He doesn't like the thumbnail, or or maybe just the resemblance is so striking and uh, so incredibly good. He he's hiding his sheer amazement of that. Yo, we're grasping at straws right there. <laughs> uh, some people will wonder though what I smell like for some reason or another, and uh, this guy says review bra looks like he'd smell like mint with a slight basil undertone. Nice. Yeah, that's, that actually sounds pretty good, to be quite honest. That's not even... Yeah, that's a compliment. Well, thank you very much. I don't even know what I smell like. I, I, I just smell like me, so, I mean... Look, if you want to imagine that I smell like mint with a slight basal undertone, uh, then go for it. Ab absolutely. If you would rather imagine that I smell like, uh... I don't know, cucumbers, then say that as well. Thank you kindly. I get this one more, more than I care to admit. I get the feeling that there is a dead body in the trunk of his car. Ever since I started doing reviews in the car, I would, I would constantly be getting that. And and then before I was even doing videos in the car, and I was just doing them indoors, people would be saying, "I bet there's a dead body in his basement or uh, in his attic." Or some people would say that they think that there is one just underneath the table. And, uh, you know, someone's probably going to say, oh, I bet there's a dead body in the closet back there or uh, underneath this this counter that I'm filming on. And uh, you name it, pretty much just insert location and someone's going to make that comment. That's a guarantee because I get that so often. You know, sometimes I'll get a comment that has a little bit of a, a double meaning. You know, where, where you have various words that if spelt a certain way or phrased a certain way, uh, can carry multiple meanings. This is the perfect example of one of those comments. Take a look. Can someone censor this guy? So, all right, well, if someone wants to put me through a censor, just tell me when and where and we'll go for it. So uh, that's not an issue. And if you meant censor uh, in regards to blocking something out, the good news is that actually some of my shortwave broadcasts are jammed by the uh, Cuban government. So in the most literal sense, I am censored and if you want to just put me through any sort of sensor, again, just tell me when and where and we'll, we'll go for it. So thank you, though, for asking the question. Got the answers. Who else is scrolling down to see hate comments? And then with the... If I could tear up on camera, I would to try to replicate the three little crying circles there. But unfortunately, I can't. So just pretend like the, the tears are streaming down my face and my mouth by some miracle like expands this big. Uh, so imagine that's how I look right now. Um, but that's exactly what I was doing too, so absolutely, we share the same sentiment, we're doing the exact same thing, and uh, it, it is funny, funny there. Please work on your thumb nails. The one thing that I was trying to figure out with that was, uh, was he talking about, like, my thumbnail? Or the thumbnails for the videos? Because in the, in the, the quite literal sense, of course, Oh, I actually did do some recent work. Look at that. The nail isn't even that long on this, this uh, thumb. See, I, I actually trimmed it down, so I did do work on my thumbnail. 
So if that's the case, I did take your suggestion and I went for it. As for the video thumbnails, I don't know. I mean, you take a look at this one from my recent uh, Chick-fil-A review. I don't know. I think that's a glorious looking thumbnail right there. Look, at, I'm just, I'm, I'm shoveling those, uh, what is that, the mac and cheese into my gaping maw there. I don't know. I think, I think that's beautiful. I think it's a perfect embodiment of the spirit of the mac and cheese right there. So I, I don't know. I don't think that really needs much work. And I've even worked on the thumbnails. So I think that's good. Uh, bro, he is high as, look at his eyes. Absolutely. You know what I am? I am high as bleep. High on life, that is. I, the, the, these puns and jokes are just so terrible in this one. <laughs> let's, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Some of these I just, I can't even. It's, it's like, I don't even know how to get it out. Your hand in your pocket of your trach suit made me feel stuff. <laughs> well, well, to, to be honest, I feel stuff too. I have nerve endings. Like right now, I'm feeling the tie against my hand. I'm feeling uh, the cool air on my skin. So absolutely, look, I understand where you're coming from there as well. Because uh, I'm feeling stuff too. So absolutely, a very truthful and accurate statement. Oh, we got two comments in a row, one after the next. And you say the intro two times because you have amnesia. No, I always say the intro twice for added emphasis. Because not only do you need to know that it's running on empty food review, but again, it needs to be reaffirmed that you're not watching anything else but running on empty food review. It's to let that sink in, you know, for that, that full review bra experience is the best way to put it. And uh, this one I've been getting a lot lately, too. I don't know if I'm looking at a chick or a dude. I'm confused. Uh, again, I've been getting so many comments. Look, I just, I, I look like what I look like, and that's just what it comes down to. And uh, finally, when it comes down to appearances, Mr. Ratburn is about to educate us on the sandwich. I, I actually like that one. I'm a big fan of that comment because... You know, you get, oh, you look like a rat, you look like a mouse, you look like an albino rat. That's the first time anyone has compared me to Mr. Ratburn there from uh, Arthur. So I like it. You know what? That's a, that's a darn good comparison. I'm a big fan of it. So uh, with that, I just wanted to open up the comments, see what people are saying about the videos and the recent uh, uploads and publications, and go from there. So we're just opening up the metaphorical mailbag, seeing what people have to say. And uh, it's, always, it's always a lot of fun to just take a look and uh, have a lot of fun with it. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Do stay tuned. we got some more good videos coming up. Have it a lot of fun with this one. Take care.